something we didn't get to on the panel. I, I think this is absolutely the year of sustainability mm -hmm. and absolutely. Yeah, communities. Yeah. And so I think yeah. customers will not give a premium for it. They'll demand a brand yeah. to make right. sure that you're giving absolutely. back to your community, mm -hmm. taking care of your people, and cutting your environmental impact, mm -hmm. whether yeah. that's right. plastics or carbon Anything offsets. Else. This is the mm -hmm. year when I think you know it's, it's sort of put up or shut up for brands yeah. uh, to deliver what customers are ex absolutely expecting uh, us to do. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, also has a big cost impact as well. I think if you think about sustainability, even as a lever for improving unit economics of a business is interesting, right? So at, at, at a place like Sonder, um, how we actually deliver water versus via plastics or not right. is right. like actually an interesting, maybe in the short term, it's not a cost saving measure, but in the long term, you will actually have um, uh, uh, dollars back from making those investments mm -hmm. as right. well. So it's 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 actually can serve as two points. And I think about the win-win opportunities, like I think about our digital key, for example, at Hilton, we've opened up 85 million doors, which frees up our team members to do all kinds of other stuff. Yeah. At the same time, that's 40 million tons of plastic we haven't had to put back in landfills from key totally. cards. Right. Yeah. So if you can right. do the right thing and still do it right by the business. Right. Right. In exactly. the short term, there might be some change management to work through, but ultimately using the technology to deliver a better customer experience, empowering your team members to deliver that great experience, and ultimately think about the community and the environment. I think that's the win-win.